doesn't scare me. He can do what he wants. So, uh, anyway, let's see, where was I? We saw you guys watching our live stream. It's a public channel. Uh, you also have been filmed by us because it's public space. And some people have been very courteous about that. I know that there is a uh, Portland police press release that says that you are aware of our streaming. And uh, one of the reasons that I am doing this demonstration is to educate you as well. Because I don't think our police force should be used to manage homelessness. If we had used, say, educators, this would have been handled through education. If we'd used, uh, if we'd used parents, this would have been handled through parenting. <laughs> I don't know if that's appropriate, but you know, I mean, if we use police officers, if they pass off the job to you when you should be helping with crime, solving crime, uh, this is what we're going to get. Criminalization of a state of housing that people can't help. So I'm blaming city council and the mayor. I'm not talking about police brutality. That's on you. Anybody who does that, who stands by it and doesn't say anything when they see it, hold people personal accountable. But no generalization from me. So anyway, I'm going to put some signs because you may not have gotten the word. And as you guys like to say, ignorance of the law is no excuse. There is no special homeless constitution. We have a right to property, whoever we are. And if you seize our property after the federal court decision um, upholding the constitutional right of people who are homeless to not have their property seized, and believe me, it is not going to allow you some loophole of saying, oh, this is a nuisance, this is public health threat. No, it really has to be a serious, imminent threat to the public for you to seize it. Like a bomb or some kind of, you know, communicable disease. So, barring that, walking away for a couple of days with our stuff is legal in the United States per the federal court that we are in the jurisdiction of. So uh, I'm very happy about that. And I hope that this outreach gets to you. So anyway, join in the chat room, but please don't troll because the last troll that I had was actually, I believe, somebody working for the police. I don't think regionally, I think, uh, just a troll who works with police. Not our police department necessarily. But uh, if you don't know about trolling, that's when you say comments like, uh, oh, what kind of education do you have? You sound ignorant, blah, 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 blah. And uh, don't you want free stuff? Isn't that why you're there, to get free stuff? Get free stuff, handouts? Okay. Bye bye. So anyway, I'm going to go uh, find some people to talk to. I'm going to tell you what my, uh, what my sign will say, though. It's going to be a good one. Ignore the law at your own risk. You get the point. I'm just going to announce the, the decision. I really do want to alleviate this from the police. You know, we could have lockers. There could be a system of, of giving lockers. There could be a lot of ways of dealing with this by dealing with the problem, not, not this upkeep, symptom, criminalization stuff and I don't think it's fair to good officers to make them go harass homeless as their job and I know some police officers who agree and uh, you know I know it's hard to speak up but maybe you could say 
around your peers in the lunchroom. Actually, I, <laughs> I'm kind of sick of waking up homeless people and making a move and stealing their stuff and the harassment. What is the mayor going to do now that we're not doing this anymore? What is he going to do now? Well, he's actually going to have to do something else, something positive. And there's a lot of people who give input. They haven't really tried to reach out to the public. They just talk to themselves. And they're making it an institution so they can make money off of it and have the little cushy jobs keeping homelessness forever. Anyway. Sense matters. You guys are going to learn. Seven cents. What did you say? <laughs> Only 35 of it matters. Oh. So what, you're going to take my two cents? What can you do with two cents? I don't know. What can you do with 35 cents? What can you do with 37 cents? Nothing. I don't even know why they make change anymore. It's a fucking joke. Okay, I think we're getting there. Um, when it cools down, you want to try this and see if it's any good? Uh, mine tastes a little bit better than that one. Oh, come on, come on. We'll just blow up Give it a try. Get hot. Give this one a try. Nah, I'm all right. Oh, come on, 99. Please. No. Please. No. Okay, here, pour it in there. No. Pour it in there. No. Pour it in there. I'm only, if you're yes. trying it, pour it in there. Come on. Pour it in there. I'm not going to do that. Put me in some nice, put me in some nice and plight to Hey. Me not literally. I took a sip out of this over here, but would you try Whoa, this coffee? Oh, that's black. There you go again. Play the black card. You don't have Play to somebody. drink it, but Watch. it's Next really thing, hot. It's really hot. It's really hot. It's really hot. I'm going to okay. start all over. We're getting a taste test to see. Next time that bus comes by, I'm fucking out of here. You should throw another 30 cents in. Vivian. Uh, just make it a half tier. And we'll call it good, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not a Can you be on camera now that you have your hat? Because <laughs> you look beautiful. No. It's a really beautiful hat. Oh, come on. Come here, girl. Please. I don't like that. Why you put me on me. camera? Because. I got a lighter. Do you see my lighter? Look. Can I put you on camera? Fuck no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, it's years, gone. Oh no. We'll no violence. Let me see this. <laughs> Look, I'm, I gotta make the sound. <laughs> do you not have lighter fluid? No, I'm mad. I, I do. Oh, really? I'm not sure if I have it here, but I will. I think I, I have it at okay. home and I'll bring it in a couple days. Okay, okay? cool. cool. Oh, uh, shit. Sorry. No, no cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody likes to be on camera. There's worth 14 lives. You? Oh, right on. This guy, right here. I know. I, no, not him. This person coming out. No, I don't bother them. Why would he be bothering them? Well, Look, they got camera on you all day. Take a picture of them. Actually, that camera doesn't show shit. This one or this one? Well, actually, those do. I beg the dipper. I was behind that desk the day they had the thing in City Hall mm -hmm. for fluoride and non-fluoride. Oh yeah. Yeah, they got audio too. It's not that great. No, they don't have audio. Okay, they don't. Do they? I don't know. Do they? <laughs> did you say that they did? No, they warned me not to come outside because the Frogman was out here. But he said it was. Yeah, I guess they do. What did Jim say? Tim, what's that guy's name? John. Joe. Bill. Well, I don't. Okay. Bill, whatever. Some Raymond. guy. Some guys. Never Ray. mind. You got one of them. What? Well, whatever. Some Jimmy. guy, some fucking dude, I don't know, some real well seasoned gentleman told me that they. Roy Floyd Man. Was it Floyd Man? Is that his okay, Floyd Man. Okay, I don't know what the fuck it was. The, the security guys were like, or security lady, well, never mind. Someone, two people behind the desk were like, oh, look at this frog guy. And she's like, ooh. So I tried going behind the desk. And I got like to here, and I'm like, what? And she goes, get out of here, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, are you serious? Give Didn't you just tell me to look at it? Yeah, so then I walk back around. And she's like, you're going to get me in trouble. I'm like, no, I'm not. So then I jumped out. That sounds like Cindy. I already told I don't know who the fuck they are. And I look. They're all pretty cool, but I went like this. And the other lady's like, the more she was like, no, get back. And she was seriously, you're going to get me in trouble. I'm like, oh, okay. So I started, and I saw just a glance of Did that. you hear? Hear what? Any sound coming from the monitor? No, they were too busy bitching about me getting them in trouble. I wasn't even doing anything. So you so couldn't sure, hear? So the point of the story is, she goes, he needs to untuck. Or no. Yeah, untuck. She goes, he's untuck. I'm like, what's untuck? I don't even know. And then something about I don't either. inappropriate something or whatever. Anyway, I always confused. I go, I gotta get out of here. She goes, well, you go up the stairs, you go out the second floor, you can go out that way, and go that way, and you won't have to see him. So I did, and I snuck around the building, and you guys are doing your thing. I went like this and walked by. I glanced at him, but he was turning the other way, so I can either confirm or deny if he was tucked or untucked. It's a good what story. What does tucked or untucked mean? <laughs> it's a funny story. 
So anyway, like I was saying, I'm like, now I'm confused. See, now there we go. Not that I was making sense before, and now I lost all train of thought. And you that were was talking a, about the green guy. That was a guy. derailed train to begin with. Floyd? Floyd, man. Is that who he will? Wow. Did he have an inappropriate thing hanging out from his area or something? I don't know. Well, I know who you're talking about. Well, Did he have an inappropriate I thing? I hope not because he was tap dancing with a little girl, so I don't oh think so. Oh, my gosh. Well, oh, okay, right. He was messing with a little girl. So. No, he wasn't well, maybe messing. maybe untucked. Did he untuck? He wasn't messing. If he was untucked, I guess it's okay, but if he was tucked in, I don't know. They don't care. If they're security, I think they would come out and said something, right? They were no, we the would have said something. Look, they YouTubed it around the world. And oh, I still haven't looked at it. They, hey, no, they're security to the building. I know, they're separate Not entities. to society. Fine moment in digital TV. Hunt, or, <laughs> trust me, they got the inside line. Actually, there's a, uh, there's a video. You can see more there, of stuff like this only uh, when the police had to come. It's called non-OPDXer in the PPB. That would be that guy. He was flying. Is he? That's what it sounds like. Sounds like he's protesting. He's going into the fluoride march. You know? That's happened a lot. Curtis? I wouldn't say anyone belongs to Occupy or doesn't belong to Occupy. I would say more like they're with us in protesting and self-awareness of why we're here and yes, I think that's cooperating. Yeah. Yes, when I was in Vietnam at age... <laughs> in the classroom. When I was in Vietnam at age 20, I couldn't have found it on a map. That was after two semesters and a term of college. Yeah. And, and senior in high school. So when, when you, uh, when you went... I about it much. When you went, did you... My God, that's crazy. That it's dark sarcasm in the classroom took me years to put meaning to that song. So, so when you went, you were in college or you had dropped was, for a while? Yeah, I was. Uh, then you get student deferment. All you had to do was go to college and you didn't have to go. Right. So you were in school at the time? So I got tired of college after a year. And you decided I'd rather be in After PSU, they say letter or something. So you guys decided I'd rather so, go to Vietnam? Well, we didn't really, we just didn't want college. And then, so yeah, then you either go do that or, yes, I came up to take my physical with a couple of high school buddies, just down to the 7-Eleven, across the street, down a half a block, up the steps. That's where you bend over and cough and no, take the hearing test. And so my buddy is like, he's the second. Get my Sorry. He's the second leading scorer in the state in football. He's a track star. Low hurdles. He blunts his hearing and they take me. Come on. Oh, wow. yeah. I couldn't hear the I shit either. I get more job by 9 a.m. than most people get done. Yeah. That's a good one. But hey, if you can <laughs> pull it off. Hey, Monk. How are you doing, Joe? But yeah, people were passing out pamphlets like anti war. And I, I thought, the male side is going to go right up the stairs. Throw this away. Yeah, I got a pamphlet from the anti war protesters downstairs. And I kind of smiled. Well, I can find a waste back in basket upstairs. Let me find a moment. So, yeah, you could go to Canada. Like hotter than I don't know why he's dead. Uh, there are trials and tribulations, and you gotta go where. Well, you don't. You don't have to go to Canada. How long were you in Vietnam? One year. That's sort of the contract. Whereas today's soldier is back, back, and they keep saying because because they're all volunteers. 
But with the, uh, Come back when you're dead. we volunteered for the draft, Bill and I, that he told me about it, for the Army. The draft was, you had to stay two years in the Army. If you signed up regular, it was three. So he told me about the two years, I said, let's go. What did you think about your deal all in all? Well, is it a good decision or a bad decision to go? Well, stuff happens. I learned that best friends And here I am having a good time. I wouldn't rather, I mean, be anywhere else than where I'm standing right now. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of how I look at the past. It's like, well, past was kind of rough, but if I changed my past, I'd have a different present, and I am not looking Right, and you look at the past different. I think I just wrote that. He did what? I think I just read that. Read what? Oh, what we're talking about? You see how that dog acts, yeah, and uh, actually, it's really weird, but the particular trials and tribulations of my life now make sense as if they were classes of obstacles to take in order to be here for the revolution. Yeah, or just low hurdles. Yeah, like, like, I mean, but seriously, there's a skill or two that develops out of the worst horrible thing that you got to get yourself out of. Cheers to that. Oh, this one's fucking Cheers awesome. to not hearing about that stuff. Is Camus here? Oh, no, no. I actually don't. Really? Yes, my Intense. buddy and I had a different experience. He was always introduced to me. He got infantry. They knew I wouldn't make it far on foot. I got to drive a truck. All the difference in the world. That sounds like so. We, after the war, we lived very close to one another, but we were partying with different and, um, but I saw him a couple of years later and he said, there isn't a day goes by I don't think about it. And that wasn't my experience. Like, if we got ambushed, we were supposed to go fast. And if he got ambushed, he was, you know, bang, bang, hand to hand, who knows? He um, hasn't talked about it and I haven't asked him. But he's at a on the and, and, and you fell in with the you you got you got uh, you said there was like the drinkers and the smoker and the right potheads juicers heads juicers yeah, got kind of settled or was right near where I went to get those stripes. Oh yeah, so I'm walking up with my buddies to the EM club to just go in front of the board for this promotion, extra stripe. And, uh, and this guy's coming out, he had just been there. And it wasn't me, I didn't put him up to it, but my buddies go, hey, what'd they ask you, what'd they ask you? That's kind of cheap, you know? But he mentioned about they asked me um, what I think our policy should be in Southeast Asia. And, uh, is it while you were in Vietnam? <clears throat> yeah, I'm going up for this yeah. stripe there at our battalion. Was it no, not the sidewalk, but they say this is there. There is not that battalion and area there. And, um, I yeah, so they they I guess my buddy kind of, you know, said know, something, which was kind of neat, because if they had asked me that, you know, ten minutes later, because I'm, you know, not, I'm pretty close to the front door where I'm going to talk to them, if they would ask me that, <coughs> what should our policy be in Southeast Asia, I would have had to say, we're Southeast Asia. Yeah, I forgot about that. So, luckily, yes, I was able to learn that I was in Southeast Asia before I hit the front door. How sweet it is, huh? 
over on the tree on the other side of the bridge. They said, well, you guys can sit over there. And it's not raining. And a I lot of my, uh, good friends like my, here. I mean, the vibe. No, no, it was. Uh, but let's we were heads. For you guys to sit on the tree. Yes, and we also. So we went. The barracks were up here, oh, yeah, went so. down through the motor pool, down to the edge yeah, where the I wire was and stuff. Yeah. And uh, I, I really do and I have the bag bunker, I guess. Um, oh, yeah. And that's where we'd smoke out a lot at that night before bed. And there was this dog I, I there. Like, and every time a head came, he didn't bark. But any time a non head and he bought everything. That's pretty handy. Man, sounds good too too good to, this sounds like fiction, doesn't it? Well no, they can yeah, they'll pick up on who you're who you're nervous about. Certainly you're yeah. So I remember the uh, lieutenant colonel was coming down. It was a major. We only had a major though, but um, we heard that he was coming down, the leader of our, to uh, make trouble for the heads. So we got the word when he was on his way. And we hid in different things, tanks, and that were already on the floor, on the back of the trucks, and APCs, and just, and we were laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were laughing because, hey. My phone got stolen and my alarm's on the phone. <laughs> and he left and we went back to the sandbag installation. Oh, I will survive. I will survive. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we just go through the wire when we were going through no, the tavern. No, don't let anyone There was a guard here at the, uh, where we drive our trucks in, but by our sandbag thing out to the side, there was this wire, so you just kind of step on it, you know, barbed wire. Step on it like blackberries or something, so they don't scratch you. would yell at people to check me out. They checked me out. If they looked at me and I bent over, I'd see my face. That's what my dog Sometimes he does. He, he reacts the guard didn't. Kind of kinda like you. Sometimes the guard didn't mind if we went out right out the gate. And sometimes he did. Kind of like here. Yeah, let him out. No, let him. There has to be one of those who checked my ass. I'm not looking. So it's a little bit protective. Yes. I ended up uh, seeing quite a few of them on my, uh, around the country. Right before I left, one of those buddies. Said, seen a few what? Said, uh, Joe, right. I'll bet you aren't even going to come visit us. <laughs> hey, did we talk about this? I don't think so. But anyway, so it turned out a couple of years later, I went around the country and saw quite a few. And Johnny Allen, bet me about throwing a mustache. <laughs> like, whose would be longer when we, if we saw each other? His was longer. But that's why I can't trim mine because what if I see him again? <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm not even on. I'm on Indian time. I wish that had been on camera. He's like, instead of, I'm sorry. To, Instead of finding a dive, I'm just going to look for myself. And I, I go, that's what a real man do. He's like, what? I take the initiative. Fuck that. Don't you think I can tell what the time is by the sun? 